Naive T cells sample the MHC peptide complexes on the surface of antigen presenting cells as they migrate through peripheral lymphoid tissue. Naive T cells enter lymphoid tissue by crossing the walls of specialized venules known as high endothelial venules or HEV. They circulate continuously from the bloodstream to the lymphoid organs and back to the blood making contact with many thousands of antigen presenting cells in the lymphoid tissues every day. These contacts allow the sampling of MHC peptide complexes on the surface of these antigen presenting cells, which is important for two reasons. One is that it appears to reinforce the process of positive selection for self-MHC recognition that occurred during T-cell development. T-cell receptors are selected for their ability to interact with self-MHC, self-peptide complexes during T-cell development. In this way, a repertoire of mature T-cells is selected that can be activated by non-self-peptides bound to the same MHC molecules. Recent experiments show that T-cell survival in the periphery also depends on contact with self-MHC, self-peptide ligands and that the signals required for survival are delivered effectively through interactions with MHC peptide complexes on dendritic cells. Thus, as naive T cells migrate through peripheral lymphoid tissue, they receive survival signals through their interactions with dendritic cells. At the same time, the sampling of MHC peptide ligands ensures that each T cell has a high probability of en encountering antigens derived from pathogens at any site of infection. This is crucial for the initiation of an adaptive immune response, as only one naive T cell in 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 6th is likely to be specific for a particular antigen. An adaptive immunity depends on the activation and expansion of such rare antigen-specific T cells. The T cells that do not encounter their antigen eventually reach the medulla of the lymph node, from where they are carried by the afferent lymphatics back to the blood to continue recirculating through other lymphoid organs. Naive T cells that recognize their antigen on the surface of a dendritic cell cease to migrate and embark on the steps that generate armed effector cells. The generation of effector cells from a naive T cell takes several days. At the end of this period, the armed effector T cells leave the lymphoid organ and re-enter the bloodstream to migrate to sites of infection. And that's naive T cells sample the MHC peptide complexes on the surface of antigen presenting cells as they migrate through peripheral lymphoid tissue. Have a great day.